One of the ways that we have here at the Closet Doctor is extra sheets of material. And I was putting stuff away today. And sometimes we have cover sheets on the bottom of this material. Like when it comes in on a unit, the bottom sheet is a scrap cover sheet. But sometimes we're just sliding stuff in and out. And I was noticing on this one that it had black marks and possible scratches on it. So it's going to go in the rack and we're going to pull it out on the bottom side we'll probably figure out later that it's no good after we've processed the whole thing and I'm like well what can we do to, to reduce or eliminate that and I was looking at the forks and they got you know they were probably painted at one time and they got scratches and stuff on it and I was like you know we can reduce that if we just handle it good so I pulled out the big grinder with a sanding pad on it and we just sanded them smooth on there I'm gonna do the other side here but now at least if it slides on here that there's nothing sticking up that's going to gouge it we've taken the paint off of it it's an indoor forklift it's not going to rust we can take care of it and eliminate some of the things that cause us defects down the road so that's my improvement for today so we're here at home and lisa has adopted the tube-in system for a lot of things here at the house like the dishwashing stuff when it's empty she pulls it out and behind it she has another package. She opens it up and it's ready to go. This one goes up here on the counter and gets added to the shopping list and either Amazon will deliver it or we will uh, pick it up next time we're at the store. So nice and lean. We don't ever run out of things like this. A couple of improvements at the CNC today. So uh, this came stock with this and then we added this panel over here. I got a speed clip uh, for holding my pouch water bottle holder there that's been there for a while that works out great we've got this binder this has got all of our stuff how to do stuff in the cnc it's a qr card from the company this is a gimba docks the problem is when we have an issue and we need to pull it out we were either sitting it here on the keyboard or we were going over here and looking at it we didn't really have a place for this so today's improvement uh on the back of the monitor we just put a piece of 3h plywood that sticks up and we can flip through all of our stuff, how to, how to change things, how to do things. Maybe the tool, it's all in there. It's in Gimba Docs, and then it's right there. And so when we're working, we can just look up and follow the steps on how to do things. The other thing, we have the ability with this machine on this, uh, this handheld control is we can turn the speed up. And there's a couple times that we do that. And then I always wonder, did I, did I turn it back? And so I put some color code on it today. So if the green is up in the, in the top area, it's at the right speed. If the red is up in the top area, it's, go, it's set too fast. And so when I'm over here working on the other side of the table, I can look over and it doesn't show up here too much, but I can see the position of that controller without having to walk over and verify it. So a couple of improvements here today. Here's my improvement that I'm working on this morning. So we've got our Vantage Edge Bander. Love this machine. And what we've got is at the beginning and the end of the machine, we spray chemicals on it. And so this is a release agent, helps it or, uh, remove any glue that's on the panel at the beginning. It's got uh, an anti-static agent that we spray on it. This one here, we have a big day. We'll utilize, you will use this whole bottle of fluid and you have to, to refill it. We gotta, Take it off, undo it, take it off here, walk over to our fireproof cabinet, uh, open up the cabinet and pull the thing out. I was looking at it and I noticed that the cap is the same cap that is on the three liter gallon jug of it. And so I said, here's an improvement. And we just adjusted the, the modified the bracket. And so now instead of having a little tiny uh, bottle we can just take the bottle right that we order we order it in a three gallon and then we can set it on there screw the lid on it and good to go we've eliminated the waste of having to refill that on a daily basis this should last a month now for my two second improvement today i got the murphy bed box um i did this with matt's box as well but i put a little baggie full of some five eight screws in here because uh, the last few times we did installs with this, I had to go run back out to the van to get a 5.8 screw to uh, secure the zip ties that we put in the back. So now there's 5.8 screws in here and I won't have to run out to the van to get one again. Okay, so when I'm doing installs on on closets and, you know, other things, 
I try to keep everything just right here on the ladder so I'm not reaching around grabbing stuff from other places. So I'm gonna make a very small improvement right now so that way I have a, access to my left. All right, so now we added this little tube on the side of the ladder which gives me a spot to put my level when I'm doing uh, insults. All right, this is our board that we keep the keyboard and the mouse and the remote on for morning meetings. Uh, this Velcro patch fell off a while ago and it's been kind of hanging on by a thread. So we're gonna make some improvements to this, make it a little bit better. All right, we got fresh foam in there. Each uh, the remote and the mouse have a nice new spot for them. Uh, they're in there nice and tight so they won't fall out, but it's still easy to get in and out. When we need them, they fit in there, um, ready to use. When it's done, this just goes back and it's holster right there.